Hey guys, so I decided I want to try to do like a casual vlog style video today. I've never done something like this before. I don't think I actually know how to make this style video. Oh, the sun. <laughs> but I think it'll actually be beneficial for my productivity. I want to make something. I haven't posted something to my YouTube channel in so long. I have so many like half done videos. It's ridiculous. Maybe a Maybe a chill one like this will actually make it on the channel quicker. I have a lot I need to do, and recording it just somehow seems like it'll make me do it more. You wanna come with me? Come along for my St. Patty's Day vlog. We're gonna have a good time. Let's go. I'm currently using a jalapeno to prop up my camera, and I'm very proud of this fact. So first things first, I have a lot of dishes I need to get done. Jesse went back to work this Monday. I had the wonderful privilege of having him at home for quite a while, so that was lovely. But now I am in the place of where I need to be getting back into... I gotta figure out my personal schedule again, working from home and being at home by myself and getting up on time. It was really hard to do that while Jesse was home. And I don't function well when my house is dirty. And of course we managed to manufacture a lot of dishes on um, Sunday night. And now it's Wednesday and there's still a bunch of dishes around. So I need to get rid of these if I'm gonna be able to be productive today because otherwise I just feel like I'm being crushed and it's no good. So I'm gonna do some dishes now. soda cans before we collect them for recycling because and then and then you dump them out and you let them dry because then there's not that gross sticky residue in your bags while like you're putting them in the can return and I think everyone should do this but currently those were just a lot of um, sparkling water cans because I like that more it's tastier it's less bad for your teeth <laughs> but mostly it's tastier they're making carbonated carbonated not carbonate caffeinated they're making caffeinated sparkling water now like they saw a gap in the market and they rushed to fill it it's crazy you're making progress all right I'm gonna let some of those dishes soak and now I need to eat something um, I'm actually feeling hungry because surprise doing dishes is more physically exertive <laughs> than editing and just answering emails and doing contracts and sitting on the computer all day like I normally do. Because I'm so inactive during a lot of my work day, um, oftentimes I'll forget to eat. It's, it's not a good thing, but like my hunger signals just don't really come through because I'm not doing anything. And then I just get so wrapped up in whatever work I'm doing, like I just forget that meals are a thing. And just anything with a schedule doesn't come intuitively to me anyway. Basically what I'm saying is I'm proud that I remember that I need to eat right now and I'm excited to eat food, so let's go do that, yeah? I am a, I'm a whiz at this vlogging thing. I've got this. So remember like two seconds ago for you when I mentioned that I forget to eat sometimes. Yesterday was one of those days for me. I only had dinner. I assume it's because I slept like half the day. I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back on track and my body's like, eh. Do we really need to do this though? And also, I had a very inactive day, so like I just had nothing to tell my body, hey, you need to eat until like it got really late and my body was like, oh, I really need to eat now. It was great. But we had such a glorious dinner and I must tell you about it so it can be remembered somehow, somewhere. So we went to the store and we got ground beef for burgers um, and we made like half pound patties each. Like these were massive, they were so good. Um, and we made it pan fried in butter um, with onions added like during the second half of the cooking to make like nice caramelized onions to go on top then a fried egg on top guacamole like nice smashed up avocado on the bun I had a tomato 
and also barbecue sauce. So this thing was massive and it was so much food and it was so good. And then we also made red potatoes, um, broccoli and onion all roasted together in the oven as well, uh, like as the side. And I had a bunch of that too. So like it was a really, really good meal. It was just my only meal of the day. <laughs> But because of that, I'm like not super wanting a heavy meal for breakfast right now. Which leads to my dilemma. I have this beautiful mango, but I don't really know how to cut a mango. Usually my husband does this and I'm realizing I have not retained a lot of the how. <laughs> that this entails. I'm pretty sure he just peels the skin off with a knife and then slices somehow, so I'm gonna try to do that. I'm not even gonna bother looking it up because I just don't want to right now. I don't even know where my phone is. <laughs> Good times. Do you think you can peel a mango with a regular peeler? Works. I can't tell if the peeler is better or worse than the knife. So I was worried I was gonna be wasting fruit with the knife, but this is also taking quite a while. Tastes good. Don't want to waste. I don't want to waste the fruit that's stuck to the pit. The household objects I'm using for tripods today is wonderful. You are currently perched atop a mason jar uh, dried mango and a mason jar of dried spicy mango. So like, I guess it's a very mango situation right now because I got my fruit. I also have um, some salted sunflower seeds. <laughs> Those sounded kind of good. So I'm gonna munch these now. <laughs> and watch some YouTube and and then we're gonna get going on whatever we got to do next. I probably have to finish the dishes, don't I? Oh, like I ate my food and now I'm so tired. I need my sleep schedule to be fixed. Uh, I don't I feel like I want a nap right now. It's ridiculous. Ah. Um <laughs> Answered some emails, uh, did some paperwork stuff, and took a nap. Now I'm back to work. I gotta, I'm gonna finish the dishes, and then I think I'm gonna get things prepped to make our corned beef and cabbage meal tonight. I'm very excited about this meal. It is, uh, it is very tasty. I would make it many more times a year if corned beef wasn't so expensive, except for when it's on sale for St. Patty's Day. So I just went outside to get the pot I needed to make the corned beef and cabbage. And it is incredibly beautiful outside. I mean, I should have guessed with the like amazing light that's been streaming in the windows all day, but it's, it's gorgeous outside. So I think after I finish the dishes and get the corned beef started, I should take my dog out for a bit because I haven't been going out with him as much as I should. We have a fenced in yard so he can play by himself, but he is a good boy and he deserves to be played with, so. I think that's coming next. Dishes are mostly done. Time to make delicious corned beef and cabbage. So I've made this meal multiple times and I always use this recipe from food.com. It's like New York City corned beef and cabbage. And it always turns out so good. Like we never have leftovers, so. We're doing two corned beefs this time. It's a wonderful recipe because like the first three pages are basically just how to select the best ingredients for the meal. Is that so? Kitty wants to contribute to the conversation. And now he wants to leave. So like, I don't know if that's just like all silliness and it just makes me feel extra fancy making this meal. Cause like, it has how to select the carrots. It has how to select the cabbage, the potatoes. <laughs> like, it's very fancy. But I just know the meal ends up tasting magnifique, so I'm gonna go with it and hope that 
you know, doubling the amount of meat doesn't mess with things too much. I think it should be okay. We'll see. We need our massive pot that's gonna fit everything. Jay, Jay, don't change my camera angle. Okay, so right now the camera is sitting on top of the blender. So I don't want it to end up on the floor. <laughs> We're starting with the massive pot that will fit all of the food in it. So I just managed to get meat juice on the front of the white shirt I was wearing. I had it on my hands and I was trying to turn on the sink with my elbow to keep the meat juice from getting on the sink. But in doing so, I just wiped it on my shirt like a genius. So, <laughs> new shirt. Here's how the food's doing. If you don't like seeing uncooked meat, skip ahead to here. But this is what we've got so far. Um, it's looking really good. Like one of those is really thick and the thicker they are, the tastier they are. So now we need to put the spice packets on top, cover it with water and get it boiling. And then we come back to it later. All right, let's try to do this one handed. Now we cover it generously with water and a bottle of beer. Voila! Now we gotta bring this to a boil. Doing things one-handed is hard. Then reduce it to a simmer and let it go for two hours. And then is when we start adding all the veggies and stuff. Corned beef is simmering. Laundry is transferred and drying. Emails are answered. Some, <clears throat> some editing is done. Let's go play with the doggy. Yes! Can you hop up? Good over, yeah. Oh yeah, you so fearsome. Good hop up. Go puppy, can you go over? <laughs> oh, good boy. Good boy, can you go through? Good boy. Good boy. You hop up? Wow! <laughs> wow, what a good jump. Yes. Jumped in the river. Yes, he did. Good boy. Okay. Hop up. Wow! What a majestic boy! What a majestic boy! Yes! Wow! Balance. 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 Good boy! Yes! Can you bring it here? Good boy. Can you sit? Come on. Can you sit? Wait. Wait. Okay. Ready? Go get it. And away he goes. He's not good at directly bringing it back. He has to like make a circuit with it first. Yes. Good boy. Camp the ball. Drop it. Thank you. 
Good boy, ready? Go get him! And then my camera died, my husband got home. I picked up this carpet cleaner from next door. I finished making the corned beef and cabbage. It was delicious. Did a little more video editing and work emails and finished off the night with food and happiness. I, I don't know, guys. Uh, this, how do you vlog? What is this? Please, give me suggestions. Is this fun at all for you? Is, like, is this something I should do occasionally? I, I, I like... So I really enjoy making videos. Clearly, if you've been on my channel for any period of time, I don't have any sort of a format for anything I do. I just make whatever I feel like. And today I felt like talking to you. I don't know. So, uh, well, yesterday. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Tell me how I can improve. Tell me how I can make you smile. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get one of my more planned out videos out soon. Love you guys. See you next time.